Hello everyone. Today I am talking about speech services, uh, which is again an offering from Azure Cognitive Services. It works across uh, multiple speakers and it allows us to communicate in different languages. So speech to services has uh, several offerings and you can see here on my screen like it includes speech to text, text to speech, voice identification and real time translation capabilities. So all these offerings allows us to add uh, natural interaction to our apps and let our users communicate in the way they find it convenient. So as a developer one can go with the uh, SDK or they can also go for the REST APIs. So these APIs enable text-to-speech translation in just few lines of code, making it more economical to add these capabilities in the existing as well as uh, brand new applications. So in my today's video, I will speak more about speech-to-text and will cover the uh, rest of the offerings in my subsequent videos. Okay, so starting with the speech-to-text, so speech to text if you are planning to go with the traditional way then it requires hours of time and it may require specialized equipments for a human to translate speech into text which could be sometimes very expensive. Hence Azure offering which is quite economical and works with real time streamed audio data and the pre-recorded audio files also. So it's the same underlying technology as that is used in Cortana. And so it's very well proved that how it is working in wide range of conditions with many accents and in multiple languages. So it's pretty well tested service and we can safely use it. So the service is primarily intended to be used with the stream data and using SDA it can be done very easily as it gives a direct access to our audio streams including our device microphones and uh, the already pre-recorded uh, recording files so another advantage which i can tell you is uh, if you have already pre-built some of the custom language understanding models using lewis then also the service can be easily integrated with that to extract speaker intents and much more information related to that so let's take a slight deep dive into it and understand how we can make a call to speech to text so I will switch on to my Azure portal. So I'm on my Azure portal and here you can search for speech services. So either you can search for speech services or you can either directly or you can directly go with the cognitive services. It's one and the same thing. We can use any of the instance created using these. So click on create. Here you can select the subscription, then you can either go with the existing resource group or you can definitely go ahead and create a new one. Region would be the one which is very closest to you. So I am going with West US. Instance name we can provide any unique name. Channel speech to text. And pricing tier, you can go for F0 or S0, depending on what one suits you. You can get the complete information by clicking on this hyperlink. So if you are just experimenting this service or you're just trying out, I would recommend you to go with free one. Once it is done, click on review plus create. Click on create. So it will take just a few seconds to get this instance deployed. Perfect. So it's done. Click on go to resource and on the left hand side, side click on keys in the endpoint. So if you will click, you can see that if these things are generated, it means we are good to go. The next thing what we need to do is we need to create an application so that we can give a try how things work. So I have already created one empty console application which is .NET Core 3.1 based and here we are going to write our few lines of code. So okay so the very first thing what we need is we need to add all the required dependencies. So for that I will go ahead and use the NuGet package manager. Go to browse and here we can search for microsoft.cognitiveservices.speech. So this is the first one. I am going to install it. Okay. 
Okay, so it is installed. Next thing is I will create a new function. In that we will be making a call to the SDK. So let's go ahead and create a static. recognize speech so in this okay we need to add few more references that's a thread system dot threading okay now the very first thing which we need to do is we need to create an object which will consume the region and the key so for that I'm going to create a configuration object Speech config. I need to add reference for this one. Speech config dot from subscription. So here it will ask for two parameters subscription key and the reason. So for that, I will quickly jump on to my Azure portal and grab this key. I'll paste it over here. And then next is the region so he, that you can grab it from here, which is West US for me. Now we need to use this particular configuration. Where recognizer is equals to new speech recognizer, and it will take configuration as the parameter. Okay, so now just hardly two more lines we need to write here. So first of all, I will write uh, some text for the user. So, so we'll get to know that system is ready to listen. Recognize once async. So make a note that here we are using recognize async and the reason why I'm using this is because I'm going to read just one utterance of whatever I'm speaking so when I'm saying one utterance it means either the first 15 seconds of the audio or the silence which I mean the silence occurred after the speech so whatever happens first will be considered over here so that's the reason I am taking here recog recognize once async. Okay, so we are done. If result dot equal to recognize speech, then we can go ahead and print out print this. Yeah, I think we are done. So, this is the bare minimum code which we need. Of course, when you are writing in production, you may have to deal with many error handlings and try catch blocks and everything. But let's go with this one because my intention is to just provide you an idea how you can make a call to speech API. So, let's quickly do it. Oh, we need to make a call to this fun method. So here I will await and here I'm going to call this. So I will convert it to task and we are good to go. I'm sure it's going to work. See, so you can see that I said I'm sure it's gonna work so it has recorded as I said like there are no spelling mistakes nothing let's try out one more thing this is going to be the best application ever 
and you can see how perfectly it has converted a speech or it has translated a speech to a text so this is how easy it is to deal with these apis so i hope you enjoyed this video and in my next video i will tell you how we can do more than a one line how we can convert a audio pre-recorded audio file to a text so till then keep watching